So you were talking about writing a book. Yes. Can you, you feel free to talk a little bit about it or not? Yeah, I just don't know if I can explain it well enough for where my brain is um, thinking about it. Um, I just came from a grief retreat. Right. And um, it's an amazing grief retreat. Um, where was it? In Massachusetts. What was the name of the retreat? can't think of the name of it. So, you know, let me just, I'll let you talk about that, but the idea about grief, you know, you cannot just think it's going to go away. It's not going to go away. It is a monster that hangs on your back. It will sleep, but eventually you have to confront it head on, work your way through it, or it will consume you. And it will do, it will take your life away. Absolutely. It will come up at the times that it's the most inopportune. I think but, for me, I have to, when it hits, I have to just acknowledge it and, and sit with it. Yeah. Like, I just have to walk my way through it. If yeah. I have to stay in bed all day, I have to stay in bed all day. Yeah. That's the only way I know how to get through it. Yeah. And um, it consumes your life. You yeah. know, the day Chad died, I died. Yeah. My kids lost their mom. My grandkids lost their Gigi. I, I am not, I am a shell of the person that I once was. Mm -hmm. um, the, gr the grief is overwhelming. Yeah. Um, but I went to this grief retreat for the second time. Yeah. I went the first time in May. Um, I went the second time a couple weeks ago. Um, but I was on my way home from this grief retreat and, you know, it's hard coming back home. Right. I'm coming back to reality. I'm right. coming back to my life and here I am alone and the love of my life is gone and here I am. Um, and I just thought every time, every day, every day I fight thoughts of suicide. Every day. And in my mind I tell myself well, you can't do that because of this, and you can't do that because of this. You know, you, you've got to get this stuff in line for your kids. you got to make sure you have your will and, you know, all of your bank accounts where they need to be and the businesses how they need to be. And you need to, you know, I moved from a bigger house to a smaller house, and I have a warehouse full of stuff. I need to clean out my garage and clean out the warehouse and get rid of stuff and, and get my get my life in order. My mom mm -hmm. died suddenly at 57 and I had all of her stuff to take care of. And then Chad died suddenly. He was 54 and I had all of his stuff to take care of and I have the his business to take care of and I can't get in his bank accounts because he was the only one on the account and I can't, you know, it's just the list of things goes on and on and on. So every day I tell myself, well, you you can't commit suicide because you've got to do this and you can't commit suicide because you got to do this and you got to get this stuff in order for your kids because you don't want to leave this for them to do so I was on my way back from this grief retreat and I thought you know what I'm gonna write a book called my journey to suicide and in the end my ultimate goal is that by the time I write the book and get through all the things that I say I have to do before I can leave my children, that I'll have a different mindset. Yeah. Yeah. 